Hello, it's Dave here from Megapoints Controllers. I thought today we'd have a little uh, revisit of the automatic brake control feature or ABC found on lots of DCC decoders. I've discussed it many times at exhibitions and there's been quite a bit of interest from people who, uh, who wanted to know more. So I thought we'd have a little play. I've dug out the decoder manual for the chip that's in my current, the loco I'm going to run today. It's a Zemo. Though many different decoder manufacturers um, support automatic brake control. I believe it was developed by Lens. Um, so if you have a Lens silver or gold edition decoder, then you'll be able to uh, do it as well. But uh, have a check, see if you'll support it because it is rather nifty. So buried in the small print of the manual, I think I'm on page 21, page 21 of my guide here, there's a little circuit diagram and it shows, uh, here's my section and instead of feeding it with power directly, it goes through this interesting array of uh, arrangement of diodes with one in reverse. And what that tends to do is um, clip one side of the DCC signal so it makes it asymmetric or, um, well, not symmetric. Um, what I've done, I've knocked up a little, little diode set here just for playing with. So uh, I have five diodes, so essentially I have something like, let's try and draw this in. Uh, here's my feed into the track, so I have one, two, three, four. I find they work great. And then coming back around, I have a diode in the opposite direction. And that's all you need to switch on and off the um, the asymmetric uh, DCC. So the way this works is if you imagine you have uh, your track here. Oh, let's try and get on screen. There we go. Better. So if I, if I have my track here and I have my, um, let's, let's draw my, there's my DCC signal coming in through a pair of wires. I'd run one feeder to this track and this one would go to this track. But all you do in this case is you run this one to one side of this uh, diode arrangement and the other one can come back. And that effectively activates the brake. To disable the brake, all you do is you short that out there. So if I was to put a switch here and close it, then it shorts these out, effectively wiring this directly to this feeder, and um, everything is normal. Now in this section, obviously I'd want to break the track wherever I determine the section is, and that should allow me to break a locomotive with ABC. So why not just kill the track power? Well, if you've got sound or lights, then uh, they get to stay on with this. The other thing is, if your decoder supports it, and the Zemo ones I'm using do, you're able to set a constant braking distance. And what this means is, um, you could determine how long from when it receives the signal until the locomotive stops, irrespective of the speed it's going. That means it always stops in the same place. And if you've done it properly, then it's always going to stop just in front of the signal. So what I'm going to do is switch this section of track here. So here's my track feed coming to either side of this, and I'm going to split one side, and I'm going to insert this in series with it. And the way I'm going to do that is to attach one end to one wire. I'm not recommending that wrapping wires is the way you should hook up your model railway, but for where I'm playing about and testing, this works fine. I suggest you use whatever your favourite methods are, but as we're just messing about here, I think we'll be good. So I've now put in series that little circuit. 
So I've basically uh, split the link from here and I've injected this into it. At this point, there's no switching or anything. It's permanently going to be on. So if I run the loco around, it should halt here. Let me just hook up some track power and uh, we'll run a loco. So we have a loco hooked up here. I'm just going to send it around the track. And with this in circuit, once the section brake here is traversed, I expect the loco to come to a halt. Brilliant. So the loco stopped. So the question now is, how do you make it go? I have this in series. Here are my two connectors to make it in series. If I short them together, I effectively bypass this. If we go back to the diagram, can we get this in focus? So I have this in series. If I just short this to here, effectively taking this out, I've undone this wiring and the DCC signal then becomes symmetric again and the locomotive should go. So let's touch these together. And it's accelerating. And I'll hold them together for a circuit. This really is a brilliant uh, feature on DCC that's hardly ever used. It's so simple to configure. And if I break it now, so I'm sending the track power through these diodes, the decoder should recognize that and come to a halt. And there we go. Why am I showing you this? We recently introduced the Servo 4R board. This is a four channel servo controller with integrated relay. And the most obvious use for this is to switch your frog polarity with these relays. But what I want to do is configure this to operate as a semaphore signal and use the relay to switch this circuit on and off. The idea being, when I hit the danger signal, the locomotive cruises to a stop just in front of the semaphore. What I'm going to do with these connectors is um, arrange them so that I can switch it from the relay on the servo board. So I'll add a couple of extension pieces to either side of this. Here's one. And then let's take one more. And if I have this right, if I touch these two together, let's get some lights. When I touch them together, you can hear the loco going. Well, killed the sound. And when I release it, it breaks. And these are going to go into the relay. I quite enjoy working in, in Engage. It, gets, it lets me do a lot of things in the small space, though sometimes it's hard to appreciate on the camera. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'll hook up my little modified semaphore signal into the controller. Uh, let's go on channel four. So um, one, two, three, four. Plug the semaphore in. Hopefully that's on shot and I'll set uh, mode three, which will give me an upper quadrant semaphore. And I'll teach it where I want the range of motion. So there's clear, there's danger. And if I operate the switch, clear, relay is on, danger, relay is off. So I've got my semaphore configured. 
Now let's hook it to the relay. Now the relay has a set of contacts. The center is the common. This one is normally closed, which means when there's no power on the relay, this one's active. And when there's power on the relay, it switches this way. So let's just put it on blindly and see if we get it the right way round. Here's the relay. So I have the two wires coming from the diode. Let's put one into the center. It shouldn't matter which way round this goes at all. And let's put the other one into the normally closed contact. So this is now configured for the relay. If I reconnect the semaphore signal, power everything up. So let's tell the loco to go. So it's got some, excellent. So that's going, signals at danger. So obviously I've got something the wrong way around. Let's just check it's working first. If I bring the signal now to danger, or to clear in this case, if it's the wrong way round, I would expect that loco to stop. There it stops. And it's accelerating again. Let's bring that back to a stop. And I'll show you how to fix that. So when I wired the relay, I had a choice of two outputs. Simply swap the output. So instead of using the normally closed, in this scenario, I want the normally open. And now I've reversed the action of the relay. Let's plug this in. Semaphores are clear, so let's bring it to danger. Give it some go. And as soon as the relay clicks, it's off. So let's bring it back to danger. Saw the relay go. And the locomotive has stopped. Clear, the relay won't switch until it's at the top. And now it starts to accelerate again. Okay, so it's all looking good. Last thing, let's put the semaphore by the track, have a little bit of fun. So I've activated sound on the loco and it emphasizes you can hear when the engine uh, accelerates and the brakes come on and go off. So let's give it some uh, go. Semaphores are clear. You can see the relay here. And if I bring the, re the semaphore to danger, now what I'm showing you works with any of our control boards for servos um, that allow you to drive a, um, a relay. So the Servo 4R has them built in. The 12-way controller uh, has the option of a relay board as well, so, and you can do the same sort of thing with this. Here we are, we're at danger. Back to clear. Relay fires only when the semaphore hits the top, and away it goes. So if there's enough interest for this, I'll make some of those little diode boards up and uh, put them on the website. So let me know what you think. Drop me an email. You have my email address from, from our website. We'll let this one go. And we'll stop the next time round. And it's all being controlled by this guy here. Cool. 
stopping at the same place every time. That's automatic brake control in conjunction with constant distance braking. If you have a DCC decoder that's a lens silver or gold, or a Zemo or one of the other decoders, have a look and see if it supports ABC. It really is a cracking feature and makes, uh, makes operating the layout a lot more fun. Thanks for watching.